Hello and welcome. Here we are today at CMC Markets Global Headquarters in Houndsditch in central London. And I'm joined by Ryan Doherty, the Head of Product Development. Yes. Hi Ryan. Hi. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you as well. And it's actually a great pleasure to be here in CMC Markets main headquarters. Yes. And uh, see, actually, as you probably know, and as, as a lot of people know, I'm quite an advocate of proprietary platform infrastructure for retail trade. I think yes. Having a company that has its own infrastructure is able to own its own IP and get the right kind of product out for its own retail clients and know its client base better. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think one of the great things about having a proprietary platform is that we can customize it for our client needs. So unlike some of the other third party software out there, which you know you have a one package fits all, we can actually customize the platform to suit our individual clients. Exactly. And it enables them to customize it a lot more. I agree. And I think that's really a way of empowering clients. Absolutely. And actually keeping a loyal client base, which shows because CMC Markets has a very large domestic market retail client base. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're scattered through the globe but we have a, a, a rather large sort of CFD and spread base here in the UK but we've also got offices in Germany, Singapore, Australia so we cover a, a large percentage of the globe in regards to the, the, the software. Yes indeed and all of the actual trading infrastructure is, is uh, supported and hosted from here in London. Yeah so a lot of the CFD and spread is, is hosted here in London. Uh, we also have our stockbroking business which is in, in, in Australia but the majority of it's uh, developed and, and designed here in, here in London. Right that's excellent and actually what's interesting is that as the platform space gets more and more sophisticated and retail traders around the world yeah. are now not novices. They, this is a mature industry now. The, the institutional sector has been around on its electronic basis for 40, 50 years. The retail sector now has become very mature. So retail traders are analytical and very advanced. So I gather that CMC Markets has actually taken that on board and made a, a lot of significant improvement to, to the retail platform. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I, it is a mature market. There's there's two two waves though. There's, there are the beginner wave and there are the experienced. And so to actually get a platform that can cater for both types of clients is really important. Yes. So there's a lot of functionality built into these platforms these days. You know, uh, traders are becoming more demanding. They're asking for more features and more functionality. Uh, but when a new client comes on board, it can be a little bit daunting as well. So being able to cater for both the beginner trader and the expert trader within a platform is is, is the trick. I think um, so. Right? And we've we've got a number of new improvements yeah, to the yeah, platform yeah. that are really aimed at ease of use and and, and sort of customization options. So um, you know, which I'll be able to show you today. That's very interesting indeed. And actually, some of the customization options are actually to do with the actual way the user interface interacts with the trader. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we've been looking at recently is looking at ways that we can optimize the display. Uh, enable clients to fit more on their screen, but also customize the way they view it as well. So we have a whole range of new watch list screens that clients can, can view price data. So they can view it either as quote panels, the traditional sort of table view. Uh, they can also have it uh, as a analytics view. So they can see client sentiment, they can see trends happening so in the market. Is a, this is client sentiment. Yeah, so this yeah. is showing how many clients are along. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. So it gives you a, a, an understanding of what other traders are doing. So you don't have to understand yourself you can actually come on board and you can see what other clients are doing on, right. on that particular instrument. Right, that's a really good thing. And, and actually you can, have, you can switch between an analytics chart yeah. and the sentiment view on yeah. this particular oh, yeah. Absolutely. This watch list view has four different ways that you can analyze price. So, you know, that's just one way of customizing the price action um, on the platform. But there's a whole range of new features. So one of the things with a platform is that you have a certain screen size um, and trying to optimize that screen space is really important. We all want to fit as much information as we can can onto one screen, um, so that can be quite difficult. So we've added a whole range of new features as well that clients will do. So you can now start to tab uh, windows together. So for example, I've just added uh, the pound versus Aussie, and I've got the US XBX. And so I can tab a whole lot of charts together on one window panel and easily switch between them just by using uh, the plus symbol and the tab structure. But I can add in a whole range of other uh, tools as well. So I can add in, let's say, the market calendar, um, and I can tap that at the top as well. So you can start to see how you optimize the layout just by adding these new window management tools. Yes, and you can actually, as you're trading, you can trade a multi-asset uh, range by keeping the tabs open on each one yeah. and having a multi-asset range of yeah. instruments open at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them all. absolutely. I mean, one of the powerful things about these types of software is that you do have multi-asset um, capabilities. So within the product library, you have a huge range of uh, choice in regards to the types of products that we offer, like commodities, cryptocurrencies. Uh, we've recently introduced cryptocurrency uh, indices as well, so you get a, a 
sort of like a, a diversified way of getting access to cryptocurrencies. But there's also currencies and indices and shares. So there's a huge range. And you can either do that via the taps and setting up those multi-assets uh, by the taps, but you've also got access to 10 different layouts. So if, if this layout's here for your FX trading and then you've got a different layout for indices and a different layout for cryptocurrencies, you've got that access for you, uh, available on the software. I see. That's actually, uh, a very, and here you have um, a series of spot prices on on, on the stock exchange. Uh, this is these are these are um, exchange trading uh, items here, right? So you've got uh, the, the the indices, you've got the uh, the Bitcoin, you've got crude oil, so you've got the commodities down here, you've got gold, uh, crude oil, euro dollar. So you've got quick access to then just be able to click on a buy or sell price enter in the number of units that you want and then place the trade quite quickly. Yeah. So clients can ha monitor a whole range of markets but they're able to trade it very quickly. That's excellent. Very good. So some of the, uh, the, some of the other changes that uh, are coming to the platform is we have this uh, traditional way of utilizing the platform uh, which is a floating layout type of design. Yes. Right. So within the floating layout design, uh, you can really customize the platform whichever way you like. So you just simply drag and drop these windows around the screen and, and you can start to... And it's a web-based platform. It's, it's not purely web-based. Web these are basically web-based windows. Really important you, you, you said that. There's no downloads needed really for any of this. You can access this account anywhere, basically. Yes. So you've got, got your pro latencies associated with downloadable platforms. So uh, the technology is now on HTML5, so it's a powerful uh, way of trading and placing trades in the market. Um, and yeah, you have a huge amount of flexibility with how you go about setting up your screen. And this is this is the floating layout, so you can add a whole host of windows, drag them around the screen. Uh, you can even go full screen. Um, once you go full screen, you can switch between things quite quickly uh, using the tab. So it gives you a fair amount of customization yes, options. Indeed. But for somebody like uh, that's new to trading. It's yes. important that, you know, some of this can be a bit daunting if you keep on bringing up new uh, windows on the screen. So we've now got a new option, uh, which is literally these fixed layouts. Uh, and if I add one of those, instead of having these free floating windows all around the screen, whenever you resize one of the... Uh, oh, it moves the, yeah, it moves it the other one. Cover them up. Right. And it's great for optimizing screen space. So yes. imagine you've got a laptop at home and you've got all these windows everywhere. It can get quite messy. Here, you just literally add in additional windows, you can maneuver them. So if you've only got a few trades, you can minimize the position screen, optimize your sort of chart layout area, and it just really creates a, a much better user experience. I see. That's very good. Okay, very good indeed. And actually, there's um, there's an also a way of changing the, that, like you just did there, yeah. changing the actual background color to yeah. highlight specific aspects of the candlesticks and the charts. Yeah, I mean, every client is different. Every client likes a setup that's different, likes different themes, different colors, different ways of actually viewing price information and also the platform. So there I was able to change the background of the chart. So that's just the white versus the dark yes. sort of thing. But we have a new feature where clients can now uh, change the background of the whole platform. So that's here we've got a dark theme. If I click on the light, oh, I see. Um, and I can align the chart colors and you can see it's a much right. different experience. Indeed. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's a crisper, lighter theme. Um, so if you are used to that type of uh, trading platform in the past or you just prefer a lighter platform, you find it easier to see information, you've got that access now and you can, you can certainly customize it. Um, Was that a development due to the foresight of actually making the user experience easier or is it due to customer demand? It's a bit of customer demand, um, absolutely. We, we would get a lot of requests to, uh, to, to uh, set up a white theme platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it, it comes in a number of different ways. Some people find a dark theme can be a little bit overwhelming to start with. And so they find that the light theme is a little bit easier. Yes. Um, even though it's the same information, it doesn't look as complex. No, and so the other element is that a lot of new clients prefer a white theme. But once you've been trading for a while and you, you're looking at the screen on, uh, you know, for a number of hours, your eyes can get a bit strained. So dark right. theme might be appropriate for some, right. especially in nighttime or something like that. Yeah, so nighttime. You know, having a, 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 a light theme is quite, you know, in your face. But, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of demand from clients to. Have that. I think this is actually something which is interesting. That CMC Markets is really the first proprietary platform I've seen do themes like that. But there's a lot of other industry sectors, automotive industry is one of them, that have exactly the same process due to customer demand. Is it a 
dark screen and you can change the theme to a white screen for daytime and a dark screen exactly. for nighttime. So it automatically adapts. The, the, right. We're starting to see it more and more. So Apple have just recently introduced a new iOS that's got the dark theme and the oh, light yes, theme type of element. Yes, they have. Um, there are a lot of trading platforms that do go down the light theme, dark theme sort of approach. But what we've done is we've spent a lot of time on the colors and, and getting getting it right rather than just having a very simple switch. We've gone through every single element, made sure that the colors work uh, on that sort of dark versus light sort of alternative. Uh, and so we've come up with quite a quite an optimal experience for clients. Yes, very good indeed. And actually, in terms of the, the, the retail platform sector, it's quite frustrating over the last few years that there are still over 1,000 MetroTrader 4 white label partners. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's 1,230 in total active. Yeah. And they range from massive companies with 15 to 20 server licenses yes. yeah, yeah. to small white labels with three or four salespeople in an office in, in, on an island and their regulation that they're using. And so what you've got is over 1,200 identical user interfaces yes. with over 1,200 entities that have no control over their own client base and are actually not able to uh, offer a, a wide range of products. So where do you see this, the platform sector going on? Because of that being a stagnant sector, yeah. What's going to happen next? Yeah, I think there, there'll certainly always be an element where that needs to be, there, is, there will be that stagnant sector. But then if clients start to evolve and start to mature in regards to the, their requirements, <laughs> they'll start moving on to these more advanced sort of, uh, proprietary platforms yes. that we come to offer. And that's where the client base is becoming more demanding in regards to the feature set. So, you know, constantly looking to evolve the platform is, is always there. We're, we're looking to evolve the platform, you know, every three, six, 12 months with, right. you know, yes. significant upgrades. Well, I remember two, I think it was two and a half years ago, the next generation platform, which is here, in, in, yeah, on in the, display in the, foyer, in the foyer, foyer, yeah. was 100 million pounds yeah. to, to actually yeah. develop that particular platform. Yeah. But this is the thing, I mean, the big companies like CMC Markets can, can afford to go down that route and, and um, add and build on that platform experience. Um, I'll just look out there. Um, so it's it's important though that we invest a huge amount of money in technology. We, we, in one way, we are a technology company That's in, right. in respect That's to the sure. We need to make sure that the platform is accessible for clients wherever they are, um, customizable for their individual needs. Um, and so that's what we've, we've been really doing over the last eight, nine years since Next Gen came into fruition. And the other one is evolving with technology. So we used to be on FlashFlex, and now we've moved across to uh, the HTML trading platform. Um, and that makes a massive difference in regards to speed. It does. The speed is uh, yeah, much faster. It's much faster. I agree, absolutely. Yeah. So in that, how would you sum up the kind of uh, the next year ahead in terms of how the user engagement will work on the retail trading side across the world with CMC Markets' as new, new, newly upgraded solution? Yeah, I think you know there's there's uh, a lot of demand for additional features. Cryptocurrencies has been one of those markets that's been evolving quite rapidly over the last uh, probably couple of years, trying to cater for all these. But I think we're we're looking to try and offer a, an increased uh, product set. So we've now got this platform where you've got a huge amount of customization options, uh, the, the ability to set it up the way you want, but now it's also about offering clients the right products to trade, giving them opportunities where there's, you know, in certain commodity markets, you know, baskets in that area, or, or the crypto market, etc. So offering them a, a full suite of product types is, is, is where the retail market will be going to just create that little bit of um, diversification amongst yeah. the different products. I think the multi-asset trading sector is where things are going. Yeah. Look, you have uh, where you would have OTC and listed derivatives on one particular platform. I think offering a whole range of several thousand instruments across the derivatives exchanges is probably the way to think are likely to, especially when you look at the regulatory aspect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, regulation is coming in and you, you know, you've got to adapt to that regulation on, on a basis. And so offering clients new opportunities is one of those elements where you can, right. you can bring in a new wave of clients to, to sort of cater uh, from that diversified diversification, I guess, in regards to the product range. Absolutely right. Very interesting indeed. And yeah. nice to see you again. Yeah, right? absolutely. All Been the best. See you Thank soon. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers.